here in the South Hall of the Convention Center in Las Vegas at CES. And I just went on CNN earlier and talked about this really cool new product called um, Guitar Wizard, which is an alternative sort of game um, that actually teaches you how to play the guitar as opposed to just playing along with the song like Guitar Hero. It's made by a company called Music Wizard. And now I'm here at the Music Wizard booth with Jan Altman, and she is going to show me a new software called Piano Wizard. She says that she can teach me how to play the piano inside of 10 minutes. Megan, not only can I teach you how to play the piano, I can teach you how to read musical notes all inside of 10 minutes. I'm gonna start out with our simplest song. Put your right hand on these red and black keys and your left hand on these red and black keys. You're gonna be playing that okay. key right there, now. When it's almost at the yellow line, now. And now the left hand. Set it. Oops. These two. Good. <laughs> now the right hand again. This is step one of four, Megan. You got in front of the game, and in one second you were creating a song. So you get that instant gratification, and that's unlike any other type of musical education out in the market today. That's cool. Yeah, it feels like Guitar Hero, actually. So far. Yeah, so this far. This is only step one. In step two, you're orienting yourself horizontally, which is the way music runs. Okay. That's what's important. But the other important thing, Megan, is that you're learning that the notes that are on the top of the screen uh -huh. are more to the right side of the keyboard. And the notes that are lower on the screen are more to the left of the keyboard. That's a very, very important musical concept, that when you see notes lower down, you move in that direction to find them. Gotcha. That's step that, two. That makes a lot of sense. Now I'm going to show you step three. Okay. Now, in step three, I'm just going to change the dinosaur eggs to look like this now. Oh. See what's going on? Yeah, so yeah. So now, this is exactly the same game, Megan, but you've got notes in their proper place on the staff. So as you're playing, you're learning that the fourth line is this key, the third space is that key, and it's all subconscious. So you're developing a mental association between a position here and a key on the keyboard. Interesting. Once you've played step three and you're used to it, it's natural that when you, when I strip away all the color, you're reading music. You know the higher one is on the right, right. left is low. Yeah. So high, low, oh. high, high, low. So you can do this now. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Did I mess up? Oops, shoot. <laughs> the game can go faster. Oh, look at that. And the game can go slower all while it's playing. That's very cool. Then you're going to decide that you don't want to play just the melody any longer. So since MIDI files come in tracks, you can turn on and off any tracks you want. Oh. So instead of playing just a single note, now you can start to play chords, you can play left and right hand, see that? Wow, now you're playing that. more of the song that Beethoven wrote, that and is this is a way cool. to advance. Then when you decide you want to get even more advanced, you go on the internet and you download more challenging songs and you add them into the game. That is really cool. The internet has millions of MIDI files. I'm really impressed with the way that the philosophy of this is integrated you, with Megan. the software. Yeah. It's, it's a really neat system for teaching. Do you teaching. know that well over 80% of us who ever tried to learn a musical instrument have dropped out just like you? Just like me. Just like you. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty excited about this product. Um, thank you so much, Dan. Thank it's you, really Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Thanks.